Hey guys, Lego Man Physics Gun kind of here, back with another episode of Factua. Um, I said I've been trying to get this fourth one out for a long time, and I just keep forgetting about it. So, um, yeah. So, this one's gonna be focused on channel related stuff. This is like the main one of the series, I guess. Um, so first of all, clear up what Factua means. Um, Factua stands for Frequently Asked Questions to Other People. Because I'm not that popular of a YouTuber, I don't get enough, very many question comments. So I don't, I can't really do Q and A's, but I want to do Q and A's. So I take questions from other people, hence the name. So now onto the questions. I had just turned 13 when I started my YouTube channel. Um, it was, I, start, I created the channel on December 17th of 2012, and uploaded my first video two days later. My name is Jared, spelled J-A-R-R-E-D. I live in the United States, that's as specific as I'm going to get. I got my Minecraft account, Mr. Underscore Miner 369, uh, I think it was like the very beginning of June or July in 2012. Um, my friends kind of got me into it when I, um, they just showed me some YouTube videos about this Minecraft game. And I was like, yeah, that looks interesting. I can't remember the first time I started playing with Legos. It was that long ago. It's just built a creative mind. Uh, as for Bionicles, though, I remember my first ever Bionicle was Brutaka, the 2006 set. Um, but I just kind of played with him as like a normal set. And then I kind of started getting into Bionicle with the Toamari in 2007. Uh, channel name's pretty obvious. I like Legos, I like Minecraft. Um, the 369, I don't know, just their consecutive numbers, I guess. So, I just, you know, not many people have a reason for their numbers and their usernames, so I don't need to explain it. Um, well, I just wanted to do something different for my... I don't know, the Grofus equivalent, I guess. I know Sky had the um, awkward handshake for a little while. So, um, yeah. I don't even really even treat it like a fist bump that much. I just hold the thumbs up to the camera. Maybe I should change that. My subscribers are called Blockheads. I found that a few months into the channel. Um, but I just figured Minecraft blocks, Lego bricks are kind of like blocks. So, Blockheads. I don't make money off my YouTube videos, mainly because I not I not I don't want to risk like having something go on with the copyright things because I upload those videos with like the um, the slideshow tributes with all the songs that I don't have like rights to I guess so I just don't want to deal with all that. I think a lot of YouTubers just starting out probably expect to get far and are disappointed with the results, um, but. I kind of understand that my main content, the, uh, the Minecraft Let's Plays, um, only get like 4 or 5 views average, maybe even less. Um, so, it's not, I don't ex I, I kind of realize why I don't get so many views, because they're just not that great of videos, I guess. Um, but, I am still surprised that some days I get several subscribers a day. Um, and the speed at which my Finance and Freddy's tribute has been growing is also pretty expected but breathtaking. I don't try to make videos to get views and subscribers and stuff. Um, I just, and I, but I do understand making certain videos will get a lot of views, like the Finance and Freddy's thing. Um, but yeah, I just do videos fun. The only, I, I do, I can't say that exactly because I do kind of be like, I have to record something because I try to do a video a day, um, but I, I do still enjoy it and try not to do it for that reason. I'm not really too bothered by those comments, one, because I haven't gotten them in a while and that was just old me and I know I was even worse back then, um, but I, again, I don't make things, I don't usually make videos to get publicity, so... That being said, if I don't get publicity on a video, then I'm not disappointed. So, if I made a video that I want people to like, then hate comments would kind of make me upset, I guess. Some of my voice. Some of them include 
the uh, the two Minecraft ads I made. One was a school project, and the other I just made for fun because I liked making that school project. Um, then uh, my slideshow tributes, but probably my favorite of them would be um, the third creepy pasta one, the uh, couples one. And um, a couple of stop motion videos like the Harlem Shake one, the Halloween special that did surprisingly well, um, those kind of things. With how well the um, some of the mob tips and tricks and the snapshot tricks uh, did, I was surprised that the other command block or the other mob and the command block tips and tricks didn't do as well. Um, my top Minecraft songs, I was a little disappointed in. Um, I mean, because they still got a lot of views for my channel, but not a lot of views for YouTube. Um, and then again, the Minecraft ads. Well, the Epic Jump Maps episode 1 and 4 definitely got more views than they should have, because I'm assuming at least the reason being the title of the videos were Minecraft parodies. Um, so that kind of got searched with it. Um, then some of my Super Craft Bros episodes, I don't know why they did so well, uh, like the 4th and 6th one specifically, um, and there's a couple others. The first thing that made me want to do YouTube was my Legends of Sphere Spectacular series. I had seen other YouTubers like Shade2800, Scott TJT, uh, Toaskeric44, all of them. I, I liked seeing their storylines after Bionicle had ended, or not exactly all before, but, or after. Um, it made me want to make my own storyline, and um, it was it was something I enjoyed doing. I, I had gotten into stop motion a few years before I did my channel, and it was it was fun. Um, and then I also got into Minecraft, and that made me want to post Let's Plays too. Now I know those are nowhere near as good as my stop motions as I've said countless times in this video already. But um it just it just it's like some of the other YouTubers. I got the inspiration from other YouTubers before me. And um it's really cool. So yeah, I guess along with them inspiring people were my friends who introduced me to Minecraft. And some of my friends also had YouTube channels. But um so yeah, that's one thing. So that's it for this episode of Fact 2 Off. Now, again, because it's two other people, um, some of the people whose videos inspired these questions are um, Sky, obviously. Uh, Connor Franta has some. Uh, the YouTuber Yoshi. It's spelled Yoshi like Mario, but it's not Yoshi. Um, so I'll link all of them in the description. Um, and actually, I have some questions, uh, for you guys. Here they are. Here. <laughs> um, so, again, I've been trying to get into the whole, um, uh, leave, leave in the comments what you think or whatever, one of those things. Um, so, if you guys want to ask me actual question and answer questions to, to me, um, that'd be pretty cool. Uh, ask as many as you want, because I doubt I'm going to get that many. Um, and also, a question for you guys. Uh, so post in the comments below your answer. Um, who ins if you made YouTube videos, who inspired you to? Anyway guys, that is it for this episode of Fact to Up. This is Lil Wang of Business 9, and uh, see ya!